Hey, what's going on guys? In this video, we are going to see how to find out the Laplace transform of T square. To find out this one, first of all, we have to know the general equation. The general equation is 0 to infinity and e power negative st times the function of t dt. In our case, the function is provided. That's t square. So instead of this f of t, we replace that one and do the integration. So let's go ahead and do that. 0 to infinity e power negative st t square dt. Now here we can do the integration by parts. To do the integration by parts, I put the differentiation and integration. For differentiation, I take the t square. For integration, I take the e power negative st. And we have to do this one until we get 0. So first plus minus plus and uh, t square derivative, that's 2t. And 2t derivative, that is 2. And we can take one more derivative, that's 0. So we have to do the integration until we, this point. Since we have four things, we have to make this one also four. So if you take the derivative of this one, this is going to be negative 1 over s e power negative st. And if you take the derivative again, I mean integration again, that's going to be 1 over s square e power negative st. And if you do the integration one more time, that's going to be 1 over this s square, 1 over s cube e power negative st. Okay, now we have actually this one should be positive because we are dividing by negative s. So this one is positive, then it, it will turn into negative again. Now the answer for this integration is going to be just cross multiplication like this. This one multiply, this one multiply, this one multiply. So that's going to be our answer. Now let's go ahead and write the answer right here. So the integration is going to be limit, since this is an improper integral, so we put limit n approaches infinity. And then the integration is first t square times negative 1 over s e power st. So negative t square divided by s e power negative st minus 2t divided by s square e power negative st. Then after the 2 multiply by this minus 2 divided by s cube e power negative st going from 0 to n. Okay, then this is first part. <coughs> Actually, this is it. Now we have we are going to expand expand based on this n and zero. Now let's go ahead and continue right here. Limit n approaches infinity. So first, if we substitute n for all the t's, we are going to have negative n square divided by s e power negative n t minus two n divided by s square e power negative nt minus 2 over s cube e power negative n actually I am replacing a t right here I should put sn sn okay sn sn and here also sn now this is for when we substitute n, now we have to substitute 0. If we substitute 0, this is going to become negative 0 square divided by s e power negative s times 0 minus 2 times 0 divided by s square e power negative s times 0 then minus 2 over s cube e power negative s times 0 and uh, that's it. After that, let's substitute infinity. For this one, if you substitute, we want 0 for everything. Want 0. 0 for this one, this one, and this one. And for, in order to be 0, we have to have s positive because this e power negative infinity make this whole thing 0 because even though we, here we have n, if you have n and e power n and if you substitute infinity e power n grows faster than n so it definitely going to be zero because this one uh, as the n become bigger this one definitely going to be bigger now much bigger than this so that's why when we have e power negative infinity we always get zero so in order to get zero we have to have the s that should be positive s has to be greater than zero need s greater than 0 for this one and for this one and the, for this one all of them if s is greater than 0 s is positive number then if you multiply by e power negative infinity the whole thing is going to be 0 so these three are 0 
0 minus 0 minus 0 and for this one this is 0 square so this is 0 and multiply by 1 that's 0 and here also this is 2 times 0 okay let's let's take the negative common to avoid the mistake negative common right here and then this is 0 and here 2 times 0 0 and uh, this whole thing is 0 then e power 1 e power 0 is 1 so that's also 0 then here we have minus 2 over s cube 2 over s cube e power 0 that's 1 so it will remain like this finally minus minus that will turn into positive so we will get 2 over s cube and that's going to be greater that's going to be a positive number here s has to be a positive number so this is our final laplace transform of t square and that's how we do that i hope you guys find this video helpful thanks for watching and if you are trying to learn differential equation uh, don't i mean there are a bunch of videos in my playlist i hope you guys watched that too and don't forget to subscribe see you next time